Hi, Cindy. So I did another uh, comparison. Um, so this is the scan that you just took at the end of June versus the scan you took at the very beginning of March. So this kind of like shows exactly what happened after you started. Uh, the Wagovi, I think I'm saying it correctly. All right, so the water uh, fluctuation was still significant. Um, decreased um, water inside the cells almost five pounds. Outside the cells a pound and a half. So you had a 6.4 decrease in water. Um, you lost 2.9, almost, you know, three pounds of dry lean mass, which we've already talked about. You lost 0.8 pounds of body fat. Um, so since the beginning of March, you lost 11.4, no, 10.1 pounds, 10.1 pounds. And 9.3 of that was lean body mass and 6.4 of that was water alone. Okay. So if you notice in March, that was the eye shape that you had. And it's a C now. Okay, uh, so you lost 10 pounds of body weight. You lost 6.6 .6 pounds of skeletal muscle mass. And you lost 0.8 pounds of body fat. Um, you gained 1.4% of your body fat. And then in terms of muscle loss and gain, you lost the ability to support your body weight 12.3% with your right arm, 15.5% with your left arm, 8.7% with your core. And your right leg, you gain the ability to support your body weight 4%, and your left leg, you gain the ability to support your body weight 5.1%. Um, and the scan is recommending two pounds more of body fat loss. In terms of where did you lose body fat, 0.3 pounds off of each arm, you lost 2.6 pounds off of your core, and then you gained 1.4 pounds on your right leg and 1.1 pounds on your left leg, and your visceral fat levels are the same. So this kind of like lays out more accurately what happened since you started taking um, the medication. So again, major water loss, 6.4 pounds of water loss. 2.9, almost 3 pounds of, of dry lean mass, muscle cells, and 0.8 pounds of body fat loss. Alright, so let me know questions. Send this to you now.